So bright, I feel so gifted, I feel so high, I feel so lifted by my side is where you're sitting in my life, is where you fit in yeah. Hey guys, welcome in this new vlog. I hope that all of you are doing right. So today we are Thursday and um, I'm about to show you guys my trades. You will see that I did not trade much this week simply because we did not really get any good opportunities, which is why I did not make any vlog. But today I thought that it would be interesting to show you guys basically what happened on the chart since the last time that I actually showed you guys. So with that being said, let's actually get right into it. And also guys, just before we start, as always, make sure you leave a like down below. I would truly appreciate it. And um, yeah, so let's jump on the track. All right guys, so this is my first and the only trade of the week that I took so far. So that is a trade on AUD USD. I took the buy around this level, as you guys can see yesterday. And the trade is going well for now. It went in a nice uh, profit and now it's pulling back down. As you guys can see, we are on the trend line here. Um, we got some retail sell here for the USD this morning, which is basically what created the small volatility that we just saw on the chart. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just monitoring this trade. Um, I can see as well a possibility for more downside. So if this actually happens and if we start to reverse, then I will be able to get out of the trade at break even because well, as you guys can see, I got a very good entry here, which allows me to get out of the trade at uh, a break even if it actually goes against me. So as you guys can see right now, it's on the trend. So all we have to wait for now is see if we can hold that or if we are actually breaking down. So those are really the type of setups that I want to trade because if the market actually goes my way, well, I make a good profit. But even if the market reverse, as I just showed you guys, I can get out of the trade at break even or most of the time with a very small loss. So those are really effective for me because let's say that I was I risk 1% at the beginning of the trade. Well, oftentimes I will be able to get out of the trade way sooner than that. And with a, as I said, very small loss or even break even. So overall, when I win, I can win, you know, let's say three, four, five, six percent And when I lose, most of the time, it's only a break even or a small loss. So overall, the risk reward ratio on uh, the average of my trades are much bigger. And that is one of the reasons why I'm able to be very profitable in my trading. When I lose, most of the time, it's very small. And when I win, I can make a lot of money. So that's kind of the idea. I always keep this in mind. Risk reward ratio is very, very important. And you need to be able to work around it in order for it to actually serve you and not play against you because one of the main mistakes that I see a lot of traders doing is that they focus so much on the risk reward ratio that it actually makes their trade less profitable because they take way too many losses you know like people who always try to have you know like 10 15 risk reward ratio I mean most of the time when you do that you need to use a very tight stop loss and that's not a very good idea because when you trade you need to let enough space for the market to develop and basically uh, let room for the price to evolve in right like you cannot just always use you know 5 or 10 or 20 pips stop loss like there are some situation where these you know stop losses are not good because the probability is very high for them to get hit so that's a very important thing to keep in mind um, always work around the risk reward ratio but at the same time not push this idea too far to the point where that's the only thing you care about so you need to create a balance between actually knowing where to place your stuff and you know putting it at a place that is actually interesting but at the same time trying to optimize as best as possible the risk reward ratio so very very important tip make sure that you actually apply this in your trading also guys recently i've been working a lot on my other business which is why i've made a little less videos i've said that multiple times on instagram but i don't think i mentioned it on my youtube channel so there we go um so yeah, as i told you guys before you know in other vlogs i started a new business and i'm working on that a lot right now so it's taking me most of my time but as you guys can see i'm still of course focused on trading that is my main activity and i think it will uh, stay that way for quite some time uh but yeah, so right now i've been working a little less on trading more on my other business business but if there are good setups on the market I make sure that I actually get those trades and that I don't miss those opportunity 
Uh, for the rest of the week, I'm not expecting too much volatility. I mean, we have some uh, speech uh, later today and we have a little uh, GBP news uh, tomorrow. But other than that, it will be pretty much quiet, I think, for the end of the week. Um, the beginning of the, the year actually is quite slow. Uh, we don't get really high volatility right now. I mean, most of the pairs are in corrections and we don't really get anything that really moves the market or that is surprising. Um, so we, we need to wait and be patient, you know, but if we compare the beginning of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, it's two different worlds, you know. If you were trading in 2019, you remember what I'm talking about, right? Like it was crazy. Like the beginning of the year was so freaking volatile. Everything was moving very fast and things like that. So that was a, a very interesting time to trade. Um, and this year it's, it's a lot more slow at the beginning. So we'll have to wait and see if the momentum picks up later but for now it is quite slow so yeah guys as i said i don't want to make this video too long i just wanted to update you guys on my trading and uh, show you what i'm up to um, so for me as i said the beginning of the year is quite slow i did not really take many trades i think i took like maybe five trades since the beginning of the year, maybe a little less. So, you know, not really active right now on the market simply because we don't get amazing opportunities. So for me, it's more waiting. But um, I like these vlogs, you know, because it really shows the truth behind actually being a trader, you know, like when you are a trader, it's not always, you know, like, oh my God, so much profit every day and everything is crazy and everything is always moving. Like, no, that's not the reality of the business. Sometimes the market are very slow. Sometimes there's nothing really much to do on the market. So it's a patience game, you know, and that's what I want to show you guys in these vlogs, you know, like it's cool to vlog when something, you know, nice happens, as I said, and when there's a lot of momentum and things like that. But I also want to vlog in those days where nothing much happens because it shows the truth of being a trader. And as you guys know, one of my main goal with producing content is basically to, you know, show people what it's actually like to be a full-time trader, like what is really this life about and, you know, to kind of break this false reality of the trader lifestyle that you can see on Instagram, right? So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, well, you can share it around and leave a like under the video. I would truly appreciate it. Uh, new videos are coming up also probably this weekend. So make sure that you look out for them as well. And um, yeah, so on that, take care, trade with care, manage money well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.